END here. No doubt that one of the most anticipated sets for 2023 has nothing to do with the Fire Exchange, but is the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth. The first attempt by Wizard of the Coast to release a full set in the Universe Beyond franchise. For the time being, we know very little about this set, just some spoiled artwork, and that this set will be legal in eternal formats, including obviously Commander plus Modern, and that the set will be also legal in Modern means a lot. It means that Wizards of the Coast are betting a lot on the success of this set. But what do we expect for this set? Intro please. One does not simply predict a set. First prediction, the One Ring, not Soul Ring. Rumors out there are that the One Ring, the most powerful artifact in Middle-earth, will be a reprint of Soul Ring, the Commander's Table card. Even the artwork resembles that of the One Ring. But I believe that the One Ring has to be more than just tap for two Carles Mana. At the end of the day, we're talking about the most powerful and sought after artifact in the Lord of the Ring saga. Therefore, I'm predicting that the One Ring will be a very powerful mythic artifact equipment card, and once equipped, it will give the bearer an immense power, and I wouldn't be surprised that the creature will become unblockable. Second prediction, Lord of the Rings creature types. In the Lord of the Rings, we encounter various different creatures and races. The most popular ones are elves, men, dwarves, hobbits and orcs. Others include spiders, wizards, spirits, ants, trolls, dragons, eagles and demons. As you can see, there are various similarities to the creature types of magic. Therefore, I am predicting that for the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth, Creature types will be matched with those of Magic the Gathering. Elves, Dwarves, Dragons, Spirits, Spiders, Wizards, Demons, Trolls and Goblins already exist. Men can be easily human soldiers, Ants, Tree Forks, Eagles, Birds. As for the Hobbits, considering how important they are in the Lord of the Rings, I will further predict that this will become a new creature type. Third prediction, double face cards and transform. In the Lord of the Rings, we find main characters developed over the span of the story. No doubt that the four innocent hobbits, Frodo, Sam, Pippin and Merry, of the beginning became much stronger characters at the end of the story. Thanks to our four hero hobbits, the One Ring was eventually destroyed and even defeated. Even the other main heroes had a transformation, Gandalf, Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli, all the four became more powerful than the beginning. Therefore, for the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth, I am predicting that the main legendary heroes will have a double face card, on one side how they started, on the other side how they ended. Fourth prediction, the evolution of characters. Speaking about how characters have evolved from the beginning of the story compared to the end, there is another way how this evolution can be represented in Magic the Gathering. That is, same person, but in different rarity. In the Brothers War, we saw how Ersa and Mishra evolved from two artificers to eventually very powerful beings. Ersa became a planeswalker and Mishra an upgraded Phyrexian. Therefore, for the Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-earth, I am predicting that main characters will also feature in different rarity representing their evolution. Fifth prediction, no planeswalkers. Every recent magic set released featured planeswalkers and let's be blunt, when they were first released back in Lorwyn, these spells became very popular and powerful. Nowadays, every deck has at least one planeswalker. Therefore, it's natural to pretend planeswalker cards in a new set released but not for this set. For the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth, I am predicting no Planeswalker cards, even though there are some superior beings like Sauron, Gandalf and Saruman, or heroes like Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli that could easily be Planeswalkers. I believe 
planeswalkers are out of context and honestly i can see jace joining the fellowship of the ring <laughs> sixth prediction enchantment saga this set will not be all about the main novel i believe it will cover more than the main three books tolkien has expanded the lord of the rings into further books covering stories from the creation of middle earth books like the silmarillion children of Hurin, and the hobbit goes into more detail regarding the background and the history of middle earth this set is named tales of middle earth therefore i'm sure that it will not cover only the main story but it will also refer to the past and how best in magic the gathering can you represent the past enchantment saga for the lord of the rings tales of middle earth i'm predicting that this set will feature a certain number of enchantment saga that will cover and refer to narratives from the history of middle earth seven prediction new legendary land cycle the lord of the rings tales of middle earth will also be modern legal therefore you need to put good lands at this stage i don't think that the land cycle of the set will be a reprint cycle i believe it will be a totally new land cycle therefore for the lord of the rings tales of middle earth i am predicting a cycle of legendary lands dual lands to be precisely and these lands will represent the main settings of middle earth the shire mordor gondor lothlorien rivendell moria etc etc eighth prediction the party mechanic in the hobbit and the fellowship of the ring it's all about a party going into the adventure of their lives in the hobbit we see a party of 13 dwarves and the hobbit going on the quest to reclaim the dwarves home mountain and their gold from the dragon smoke in the fellowship of the ring we have a party of two humans boromir and Aragorn, four hobbits frodo sam pippin and mary one elf legolas one dwarf gimli and one wizard gandalf their quest to destroy the one ring once and forever I always felt that the party mechanic introduced in Zendikar Rising was weak and not exploited enough. There were a few cards that could take advantage from such a mechanic and honestly I always believed that it could serve a better mean. The Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth is the perfect set to push the party mechanic. Therefore I am predicting that the party mechanic will return and it would be much stronger than it was in Zendikar Rising. Ninth prediction, box stoppers. Okay, it's easy to say or predict that Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth will feature box stoppers, but my prediction goes beyond. I'm not only predicting box stoppers, but I'm also predicting that the box stoppers will be an alternative version of the cards found in the main set from the theatrical movies, like Aragorn, Frodo, Gandalf, etc. etc. And I'm sure that everyone will be looking forward for these once-in-a-lifetime cards. Tenth and last prediction, Ecter Gold Sign Cards. Even though The Lord of the Rings is one of the most popular fantasy novels ever conceived, no doubt that the success enjoyed nowadays is thanks to the three masterpieces by Peter Jackson. After the release of the three movies, it became a very strong franchise, and those that love The Lord of the Rings love the three main movies so why not profit from these wizard of the coast is excellent in doing so therefore for the lord of the rings tales of middle earth i'm predicting that it will feature cards with the main actors autograph vigo mortensen ian mckellen elia wood and my favorite sean bean why he has always to die and at this stage i wouldn't be surprised if these will also be serialized so these were my 10 predictions for the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth. Leave me a comment below what are your expectations for this epic set. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.